1969, Neil Armstrong said, One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. And that made me think, what went behind this giant leap? What did we need to understand and learn for this to happen? One crucial concept, not just to the success, but even the possibility of the moon landing, is orbital mechanics. Orbital mechanics is the study of the motion of objects in orbit around celestial bodies as influenced by forces such as gravity and thrust. An orbit refers to a regular repeating path one object takes around another. They stay in orbit due to gravity. But how does that work? Isn't gravity supposed to pull things down? Imagine launching a cannon. The projectile goes up, then gets pulled back by gravity. Now, let's add more power and keep launching projectiles at higher speeds. At some point, the projectile moves so fast, when it starts falling, the Earth curves away from it. This means that objects in orbit are actually chasing the ground, falling around the planet. And as long as they maintain their speed, it'll stay that way. But when you're in orbit, you're stuck there. How can we explore further then? We need to change our orbit. To do that, we perform a Hohmann transfer. This maneuver revolves around the idea that when an object accelerates, it travels a more elliptical path. Let me explain. When you throw a ball from one hand to the other, it follows a parabola. When you throw harder, it travels further up. Comparing both paths, you can see that one is sharper than the other. In space travel, when a spacecraft accelerates, gravity takes more time to pull it back, allowing it to travel further. Observe how the ball goes on an elliptical path here. It goes faster the closer it gets to the weight. This acceleration allows it to travel further away. When a spacecraft decelerates, gravity pulls on it more easily, making the orbit more circular. The demonstration a while ago shows the relationship between acceleration and orbit shape. Just remember, faster means more elliptical, while slower means more circular. To perform a Hohmann transfer, the spacecraft accelerates to make an elliptical orbit. When it gets to the apogee, or the far end of the ellipse, it slows down to circularize it. Now, let's see how we went to the moon. The Apollo 11 mission used a maneuver called the translunar injection. The spacecraft first goes into a circular orbit around the Earth, then accelerates to a home and transfer orbit, which is elliptical. The apogee should line up with the moon's orbit. As the spacecraft gets closer to the moon, lunar gravity starts attracting it. Observe how the ball moves from one weight to another. Without friction, it would keep moving back and forth in a figure eight pattern. We don't want that to happen in the case of the lunar mission. So, the spacecraft slows down to circularize its orbit around the moon, then further decelerates to land. So, what went behind the giant leap for mankind? It's the endless effort and collaboration of our scientists to expand what is possible for space exploration.